Hey, it's Dave, the Top Frog with Pondscapes of Charlotte. I'm here today to talk to you about faulty autofill valves. It's the way the world operates today. Everything is disposable. There are basically three things in a water feature that go bad. The pump, the autofill, and lighting. So today we're gonna to talk about the autofill valve. We got a call the other day from a customer who said, my reservoir in my pumice waterfall seems to be full and the water is just running out over the side of the water feature. Well, there are two possibilities, only two possibilities here that could be causing this to happen. One is the gravel in the reservoir is completely filled with the soil and leaves and not allowing any water to go down into the vault where the pump is located. In that case, the water would come down, it would hit the, the gravel not be able to penetrate the gravel and literally just run off the side, which is what the customer says is happening. In this case, the customer had just had the reservoir cleaned out. There was no debris in the gravel at all. The water was able to go right through. So now we have our water coming over our waterfall, going through our gravel, completely filling our reservoir, and then going out off to the side. We know it's one of those two reasons that water would go over the side. Since they had the clean out, if that wasn't the reason. So the other reason needs to be the autofill is running all the time. What we did is we took this gravel out and drained this water down to about right here. We did the normal thing that you would do when you're checking the autofill is we would take the ball of the autofill, the float, push it up and have it shut off the flow of water coming into the autofill. It did that fine. So we thought the autofill was functioning correctly. We went back and we dug into the back here, took this gravel out. We wanted to check and make sure that this pipe that connects onto this barb fitting was not leaking in this area and constantly filling the reservoir and overflowing. That did not happen. Then we wanted to check where this barbed fitting connects onto the autofill. We used Teflon tape to connect that and we got our camera down in here to take a look and there was no water dripping here from this fitting. So we knew that we had a good seal here. So we have eliminated everything up to the autofill. We checked the autofill and it turned off. So what could be the problem? What we have to do is run the actual test of water rising to turn off the autofill. So what we did is we drained our water down to here. We took a hose, ran a hose in the side here and added water. As the water came up, what we found is this ball got completely submerged in water enough to turn off the autofill. But in fact, there was a drip right here that just kept constantly dripping. It didn't drip when we did it by hand but when it did it so slowly that the water raised it, it continued to drip. And that led us to believe that the problem was in the seal between the autofill valve and the bulb. What we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna take a look at the actual autofill. This is the actual autofill that was in the water feature that was failing. And we're gonna take a look at that and see if we can determine why this failed. Okay, so here we are at our desk here, and we're gonna try and figure out what went wrong with this water feature. So what we're gonna do is dismantle this. This is the actual autofill valve that failed. So when we take this apart, we take out the cotter pin, and this piece slides out. This little seal right here, when the ball comes up, it pushes this seal against this opening and to show you a little better, that's what we want to seal is that little hole where all the water is coming through and we want to seal it with this little rubber plug, I guess you would call it. So that turns up when the pressure comes up from the water and turns it off. It's not working. So we're going to take a close up look at this plug and see if there's any damage to it. So this is a close up of the plug and you can see how degraded that plug is. It's, I'll show you a picture later of a new one and what it looks like, but it's just disintegrating. The unfortunate part of this is that they can make this so it lasts forever, but 
They don't because they want to sell more of these. Unfortunately for the end consumer, we're going to sell more of these. It's not because we want to, it's because what, what's available to us. So we're going to, we're going to make money. The people who make it's going to make money. And unfortunately the end consumer is the person that has to pay the price. It's the way the world operates today. Everything is disposable. So with this seal here being so degraded, it just, it doesn't matter if you have that water gently pushing up on that, it's gonna to continue to leak. If we had somebody's hand in there pulling up on it, we could seal it, but that's not what's happening. So it's just not getting a good seal there because of this degrading. So what I'll do is I'll get out of this cut. Okay, so what we've done over here is we've taken a new autofill valve and disassembled that, taken out the cotter pin and broken this apart. And this is a new plug right here. To the naked eye, you really can't see much of a difference. What we're gonna try and do is take a photo and zoom in on that and see if we can't determine the difference. Okay, so we took this apart and this is the plug here that fits up against the hole when the arm is raised. This is it zoomed in and you can see how it's a much, much better uh, surface than the old deteriorating one. Um, unfortunately, they're, ma they're made to fail after a certain amount of time, just like refrigerators and washer and dryers are uh, nowadays. These are made to fail also. That was the problem. It won't, it, it would leak just a little bit. Uh, there's nothing you can do short of replacing the autofill valve. Hope this helps you uh, when it comes to your waterfall overflowing or your pond overflowing.